Hey guys, this is D Flash, and back with another video. This time around, we're going to take a look at a Max for Live device. It's called the Max API Control MIDI Note, and this came up as a topic on one of the forums I'm on, uh, the LivePA.org forum. And mainly, someone was asking how you, if it's possible with Max for Live, to create a key tracking high pass filter. So if you have noted if you know what key tracking is mainly it's um, a way of configuring your synthesizer so that the filter will move the cutoff based on which key you're pressing on the keyboard so the lower you're on the keyboard the the keyboard's cutoff position is relative to where you're playing on the keyboard so or the synth uh, cutoff position. So what we can do is we can actually use control MIDI note to do that and what control MIDI note does is it takes in your MIDI input and you can map it to a parameter in Ableton. So what we'll do just to demonstrate is we'll put uh, EQ8 on here and we're going to click the map button and we're going to map it Oops, actually let's turn that off. We're going to select um, the, the first EQ filter and we'll set it to the uh, times four and we're going to map it to frequency and right off the bat you'll see that it's already working so I'm going to play uh, C1 you'll see that's at the bottom and we'll play C2 it's not working yet. You actually have to turn it on. So now that it's on, we're going to see it work. So there's C1. It's all the way at the bottom. C2. And C3. So that's pretty much how a key tracking filter works. And with the control MIDI note, we can actually tweak it to work the way that we want it to. So if you only are, are going to be playing um, up to C5 on your synth you might want it to scale to that so what we can do is we'll set that to set the max to C5 and you'll see how the scale changes and then you can also adjust uh, where the max position is. So if you only want it to go up to 50%, you set it to 50%. And then you can even do some cool things like put smoothing in. So if we smooth it, what's going to happen is I'll play, first I'll play C1, bring it up to C2, and you'll see how it gradually gets up there. And you can invert it, which makes sense as to what that is. Um, compress, or actually it's compand. Uh, the nice thing about the ones that come with Ableton is that the hints, it, they come with hints. So they kind of tell you what they do. Um, jitter gives a little bit of uh, random variation. See? So if you want to make the filter behave a little differently, And you can see how it's behaving as you're uh, adjusting it. And that's pretty much the basics of uh, the Control MIDI Note device. It comes with Max for Live, and you can use it in a lot of different creative ways. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks. Check out my videos and uh, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any tips or creative uses that you've used this device, I'd be interested to hear that. Thanks. Bye.